Okay, I have one hungry teenager upstairs who keeps coming down to see if dinner's ready, so I'm gonna get this done really quick for you all. The pesto is done. It is beautiful. It smells amazing. We have some beautiful Kaiser um, buns that I bought as well, super nice and fresh. Actually, I'll get one of these up here and ready to go. Um, I just grilled chicken breasts, some organic chicken breasts, twice as expensive as regular chicken, but if you eat less of it um, and it's good quality stuff, then it's better for you. So I have that. I have some organic goat's cheese, and I'm gonna show you how to make the sauce combined. And here I have a roasted red pepper. Here we go. Um, first, I'm gonna make a little bit of a salad to top on top of the, on top of the burger. We're gonna take some dandelion greens, which I love, a handful of those. Beautiful lettuce. I'm just gonna do a couple of chops of this. And then we're gonna just put a little bit of balsamic on it and some salt and pepper and the flax oil. Let's do a touch of flax oil on top. A touch, I actually did this, I did a charity um, lunch for a group and my volunteering was to feed them and I made sandwiches and I made this salad dressing for them and I put it on top of the sandwiches and everybody loved it, even the kids. And when the kids love it, then you know that you've done good. A Little bit of salt and we will just give that a toss. Get it all nicely, beautifully coated. Perfect. And the second thing I'm gonna do is I didn't do, I didn't blend it in, um, in the machine earlier because I don't want to break down and incorporate the goat's cheese. What I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to add a little bit of the goat's cheese. So I'll show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a fork. I'm gonna take some chunks of the goat's cheese, break it up, add it to the pesto. And this is going to be the topper for the chicken burger. Okay, so go like this, incorporate a little bit, mix it up. So you'll get that flavor. Again, if you're vegan, vegetarian, you can skip that stage. It won't make a huge difference. So we're ready to assemble. So I'm gonna grab a plate here. Oh, I can smell it already. Yes, dinner's ready in five more minutes. She's highly demanding that girl, let me tell you. You can go ahead and put the bun under a broiler or on the barbe barbecue as well if you want to toast up your buns. That's what I typically would do, but these buns are so fresh, I am not going to do that. I'm gonna take a tablespoon of the pesto, put it on my burger. I'm going to take a chicken breast. The chicken breast, I sliced it um, horizontally, so two chicken breasts actually gave me enough for four burgers, so it will be easier to manage uh, for eating and it'll save you a lot of money too. We'll take a little bit of the salad with the flax oil. And here you have, my friends, a delicious, anytime treat, but summertime for sure. If you want this recipe, how to make the pesto, how I assemble it all together, please go online to our website for information. I hope, uh, hope you enjoy it. I'm digging it.